PM02 Power Supply Partner is coming. Used together with Power Supply. 5G Dual Mode Bluetooth Wi-Fi Module. Support OTA Online Upgrade. Enable both Diode Voltage and DC Voltage Measurement. Integrate Low Speed, Medium Speed and High Speed Curve Display to meet different needs. Connect and Power On. Any power supply with a DC output interface can be connected to the PM02 Power Supply Partner. The PM02 Power Supply Partner comes standard with a PM02 host, one bidirectional SR banana plug cable, one 5-core double C plug cable, one probe extension cable, and a pair of DC alligator clip cables. Connect the bidirectional SR banana plug cable to the banana socket of the smart power supply and the power supply partner. Connect the double C plug cable to the power supply partner for power up. Turn on the smart power supply. The PM02 booted up after getting power. Main interface. There are four buttons on the device. The top two on the left are the up and down buttons. Set button at the bottom. The right button for escape put. After turning on the device, select the needed language. You can press the up and down keys to select. Here we choose English. Press the set button to confirm. There are four options on the interface. Respectively are DC output, boot cable, measure, and settings. On the upper left corner it shows the device name and IN, where IN includes the input voltage, boot time, software version, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and buzzer. DC output. Open DC output. Connect the alligator clip wire to the corresponding DC output socket on the front of the device. Here we prepare a small fan. Then clamp the alligator clip on the positive and negative poles of the small fan. The voltage on the small fan is 24V. Set the power output voltage to 24V. Long press the knob to output. Open the DC output of the power supply partner. A pop-up window shows the current input voltage exceeds the set value, continue or not. This is the voltage protection mechanism of the power supply partner. Select continue. The small fan runs normally. The max and min on the left and right sides of the screen. Refer to the maximum and minimum values of the current. The middle T represents time. Press the down button to switch to curve interface. Press the up button to switch among low, medium, and high speed. Press the down button to switch to digital display. Press the set button to turn off the output. Long press the escape button to return to the main interface. Boot cable. First, prepare a USB hub power on cable and a motherboard. Connect the device. Users can select or purchase the power on cables by themselves. Select the boot cable. Set the output voltage to 4.2V. Press the set button to turn on the output. Press the set button again to boot the phone. You can see the value change when booting and the pointer change below. Press the escape button to switch to ammeter. Switch to 5A. When the current is lower than 5A, it will automatically switch back to 2.5A. Switch to 50 mA. When the current exceeds 0.05A, it will automatically switch back to 2.5A. Press the down button to switch to the curve interface. You can see the curve changes. The value is stable after booting. Press the up button to switch among low, medium, and high speed. Reboot on the curve interface. You can see the instantaneous current in the curve interface when booting. Measure. Prepare a probe and insert the extension wire. Connect the probe to the IN socket in the middle dot. Open the measurement function. You can measure DC voltage and diodes. Press the down button to switch. Here we measure the DC voltage of the motherboard firstly. The DC voltage can be measured quickly. Then detect the diode. When detecting the diode, the power supply of the motherboard is automatically disconnected. You can quickly measure the diode. Settings. Switch to the settings interface. The first one is, language. You can choose Chinese or English. The second one is, sound. You can choose to turn it on or off. After turning off, the device will enter mute mode. The third one is, Wi-Fi. You can choose to turn it on or off. You can scan the QR code on WeChat to enter the mini program to connect to Wi-Fi. Select Product Info. Select ISIN Assistant. Switch to, Device Info, on Power Supply Partner. 
Find the corresponding serial number in ISIN Assistant. Click Connect. Select the Wi-Fi you want to connect with. Enter the password. Connect to Wi-Fi successfully. You can also connect to Wi-Fi through the AISEN platform on computer. Connect the device to the computer with a Type-C cable. Download ISIN platform to computer from ISIN official website. Open ISIN platform. Select Wi-Fi. Click the Wi-Fi you want to connect with. Enter the password. Click Confirm. Connect to Wi-Fi successfully. The fourth one is, Voltage. You can set the voltage adjustment value. Here we set it as 0.5V. Switch to Output Protection. You can see that each time the voltage is adjusted, it is adjusted by 0.5V. When it is set to 0.2V, it is adjusted by 0.2V each time. The fifth one is, Backlight. Users can adjust the screen brightness according to their needs. The sixth one is, Output Protection. You can choose to turn it on or off. When the device voltage output exceeds the protection value, a pop-up window will show the current input voltage exceeds the set value, continue or not. Users can choose cancel or continue based on the device input voltage range. The seventh is, current zero. When a device with current is connected to the power supply partner, you can choose to clear the current. When the device is disconnected from the power supply partner, you can choose to restore. The eighth is, default gear. Users can choose the gear according to their needs. The ninth is, theme. You can choose light or dark modes. Users can also set the font color of voltage, current, and power as well as the color of curve, according to their preferences. The tenth is, device. You can see the device name, device model, software version, hardware version, Wi-Fi version, and serial number. The 11th is, update. When there is a new version released, it can detect and be updated to the latest version. You can see that it has been upgraded to the latest version. The 12th is, restore. Select confirm to restore to factory settings. Software upgrade. The device can be upgraded by connecting to the ISIN platform on the computer. Connect the device to the computer. Open ISIN platform. The platform will identify the device automatically. When a new version is released, select the latest version and click upgrade. It will be upgraded to the latest version. PM02, portable and exquisite. Beyond your expectation. PM02 power supply partner covers all you need. Above is the operation guide of PM02. To learn more about ISIN products and software updates, please follow ISIN YouTube channel ISIN Tech or official website www.ison.com.